Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Recently, Eric and I were out in Pittsburgh and stopped by a toy store called Pop Culture Comics. Checking for any vintage toys. Let's see what they have. Right off the bat, when we walk in here, we see some Star Trek figures in the card there. Different series on the peg hooks. This place is loaded full of comics. I've been here once before, but it was at a... Their older location, uh, probably about six months or so ago. They just recently moved to this newer one in October. So this is my first time checking it out. As you can see, they got uh, tons of toys everywhere. Uh, looks like there's some uh, loose figures and bins here. I'm guessing that those are ones that they just bought and got in recently. A lot of loose figures in the shelves over here. I was standing by the counter and noticed this older Masters of the Universe poster, which I thought was pretty neat, and it was already in a frame. Didn't see a price tag on it, but was considering buying it. There's a State Puff Marshmallow Man bank from a few years back. Pretty awesome. If I didn't have it already, I would have bought it. Lots of Star Wars uh, things in the store. There's some uh, older trolls down there. A, this is an old battle troll, I think from 1992. So you, as you can see, a wide variety of different toy lines. Something for everyone, basically, in here. And then I spotted this Batman the Animated Series Batmobile down on the bottom shelf with a price tag on of $10. $10 for that is a, a very, very good deal. So I had to check it out, put it down on this awesome vintage Turtles um, trunk there. And make sure the Pursuit Jet popped out of it, everything looked good. Uh, very clean, good shape. So $10 is definitely uh, an awesome price for that. Then I spotted an Ecto-1 kind of hidden back there missing a couple things missing a door there I don't know if you saw my last video or not that I posted but I have an Ecto-1 graveyard in my office there's like three in there sitting there uh, I think only one's complete I need to get some other pieces and put, put the rest together and then there's a police academy car there too uh, from the old cartoon series I used to love all of the, the toy line that Kenner made for police academy some older wrestling figures there and then uh, there's a Voltron Lunchbox there with the thermos inside. Didn't really see it too well on there. But it was in pretty nice shape. And then here's a, a decent sized Batman selection over here. There's a few carded figures down below. There's a Two Face from Batman Forever. Those usually run about five or ten bucks a piece. And then if any of you remember the Incredible Crash Dummies from the, the 90s, used to love that toy line as well. Here's some uh, Micro Machine type Batman uh, toys from the first movie. Used to have those when I was younger and played with, play with them all the time. And then some other Batman novelty items there. Lots of loose figures in here. For pretty much every toy line imaginable. These are pretty cool too. Pee Wee's Playhouse toys. Don't see those pop up too often. They had some rare ones in there too that I don't really ever see. So that's pretty awesome. And they were priced reasonable, reasonable too. And there's some novelty glasses there. There's some newer Masters of the Universe in the card there. Those are from 2002, I believe. A reissue. Definitely considering buying that Pee Wee Herman figure. I think it was 30 bucks, which is a good price for that. You don't see those too often. There's an old Matchbox carrying case, pretty neat. They have a lot of newer toys in here as well. You can see there's a lot of Diamond Select toys. There's a big bin full of loose wrestling figures. I'll check that out real quick. 
forget what they were priced, maybe two or five dollars. more loose figures in the tote there I think I picked up a Muddy Max it's kind of hard to see but uh, Dragon Island pretty cool toy saw an Ecto 2 in there and there's a Nolan Ryan starting lineup figure there's me showing it to Eric him winding up and then a Jace and the Wheeled Warriors uh, little booklet which Jace and the Wheeled Warriors was Eric's like thing when he was a little kid that was a little before my time don't really ever come across anything um, from that series of toy line it's pretty rare Tons of stuff on the card there. Some older shadow figures. Lots more Star Wars. The place is stocked full of everything. Another tote here of some random things. Huge comic selection too on that back wall. Spawn figures in there. I spotted a old Robin Hood figure. Um, Kenner produced that toy line in the early 90s. Still looking to pick up that whole set. You usually find them in bargain bins for five, five bucks. No more than ten dollars at toy shows and stuff like that. So they're not too expensive. There's only five in the set. Hopefully one day I'll complete that, put it together. I don't think I have any right now. I used to like those when I was a kid. So lots of comics, tons of Funkos too. And there's a lot of Funko Pop fans out there. A massive wall full of those. And also tons of newer uh, Diamond Select toys. Going back through, doing another walkthrough because a lot of stuff to see in there. And I definitely want to buy something. I love to support small businesses like this, especially toy stores. So I had to find something in there. I'm always worried I'm going to overlook something. There's me looking at the Ecto-2. Real cool guys uh, that work in here too. I think that was the owner that I was talking to originally. There's some more Star Trek figures. Tons of those on that rack on both sides there's the massive Funko wall I think I was asking right there if they had any Ghostbusters stuff minus the few things that I spotted so at this point I was definitely contemplating getting that Batmobile I still have my original one from my childhood, my parents' attic. It's in pretty good shape too. But I figure, what the heck? The Batmobile's a great price, and I want to support these guys. Here's him showing me uh, some of his Ghostbusters stuff. It's a Peter Venkman uh, Super Fright Features figure there. So I don't do too much with loose figures. I mean, I have uh, a decent amount laying around. back from the Batmobile. That was always my favorite Batmobile. The animated series is an amazing show. It still holds up today. If any of you guys are fans of that when you're younger, try going back and watching an episode or two. It's never lost its touch. It's an awesome show. Lots of different movie posters there. Ready to check out. I'm 
satisfied with my uh, one pick up there. It's a pretty awesome store there. Definitely check them out if you're in the Pittsburgh area and get a chance. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.